this video was, I did it very quickly, um, and, and it was only less than, you know, six months after I came to, to VRCA and moved to London. So, uh, you know, I, I, I was, you know, very new to, to living here still. And um, I felt like, I felt I had this feeling, you know, like, you know, many people move to a new country, um, even for a short time, go to school or live and work. And, you know, there's a feeling of, of some feeling of possibility. Um, so, I, so I had this very, very positive feeling about, about being here. Um, and, uh, you know, and, and, and the, I, I, this is not my first time coming here. I have, you know, family here and I, you know, so visited very often, but my first real extended, you know, period here. Um, so, so that, that was, that, that was how I, you know, I, I really had that, the, the, I think the naming of the video really felt, came from that feeling. Um, and then, so in 2020, when I did the new video, which is called Sawing the Kingdom, um, I, I wanted to play off of that, that first title um, and really kind of, I, I didn't have the idea then of making the set work together like they're in the show, but I really felt like there was an obvious connection um, that could be made. Uh, and also, I, it, it is a little bit, you know, think, I was a little bit thinking about Brexit too, and, um, and there's a, um, they're playing off of each other. I felt like there was a, a little bit of a, where the, the first video was about sort of adjoining and, and, and um, uh, uh, a feeling of, you know, of, of um, positive movement. This, this video has more of a tension to it that's more about separation. So that's, that's how I think the two titles came about. Uh, so this, um, this is a, a set of videos, two videos. Um, this video is called Sawing the Kingdom. It's a, um, a video that's based on um, source material that I shot in, in 2003 in my flat where we were living in, in Hammersmith Broadway. Um, just looking out the window at the Broadway. Um, and uh, uh, it's it's very much based on the activity of the, the place and the the uh, flow of the traffic, the pedestrians, the, the sound of the of the place too. And, and we lived there for two years, so the the um, experience of it was to really just um, overlaid by all this activity, all the visual and sonic activity of the place. Um, and the other the other video it's, it's, it's this is a much longer video but the other video is quite short uh, but it's one that I actually uh, this I produced in 2020 but the other video called Keys of the Kingdom I produced in 2002 um, using the same visual viewpoints um, of, the, of the Broadway uh, but just the, the 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 only effect on the video the only manipulation was the speed where it was sped up. Um, so it was very uh, much simpler, um, but but still kind of just based on the experience of the place. Um, and here, the, there's a lot of a lot of visual effect on the um, uh, on the image um, to produce this kind of constant layering and relayering of the uh, of the activity. Um, the sound is is especially the. Uh, Sawing the Kingdom is very, is very important. Um, the, I use the saw, the musical saw, um, a lot in my, my sound work. Um, usually manipulated by software, um, but, I, but I really, I, I play it with a bow and with percussion, things like mallets and, and, and brushes that, used, that are traditionally used in percussion, so I treat it like a percussion instrument. Um, and I do, I do perform with the saw also, and, and have for a number of years now. Um, and I, I really felt it was the way the way that I play it, the way that I manipulate the sound, really worked well with um, the the concept and the the um, way that I'm manipulating the image in this, in this piece. Um, so it's very uh, important um, for for the, the the video as a whole um, and uh, um, and my work. Sure. So um, 
with my future future work, it's um, it's, a, it's a largely an extension of my work. The work I've been doing for the past ten years, I, I I've um, done a project that I've I've actually um, called uh, it's called the self surveillance project, um, and and that name actually has some connection to this work because the um, uh, surveillance was a big part of my interest in the Hammersmith Broadway. There are so many surveillance cameras throughout the Broadway um, and there were just multiple cameras. I mean, it even seemed like there could be a camera that could see into our, our flat, um, even if it was on the third floor. Um, and so I, and I was very interested in, in a regime of surveillance that was, you know, just really getting huge in London at the time has only increased, you know, since then. Um, but uh, um, it's really about identity and my identity and my family's identity, so I'm very interested in, in exploring my family, uh, um, individuals in my family, but also the whole family structure through this lens. Um, and uh, so I have a lot of writers and, um, uh, and, and I have an inventor and, and I'm interested in, in looking at the material they've produced, some of which is in the public domain. Um, and some, some of which I kind of quote as uh, as if you, as a as as a writer would with with uh, quoting lines of text um, in in my in my videos. Um, and uh, I'm interested in kind of collaging together these these identities and, and the, the material uh, in, in different work and uh, um, really um, producing you know kind of new structures for me um, and the work based on. Um, all of that material, um, and uh, that's what I'm, you know, really going to be doing going forward.